Well, across the country, COVID-19 hospitalizations are on the rise. The CDC says more than 38,000 Americans are in the hospital tonight. In the meantime, scientists in Israel are studying a drug to cure COVID-19 in some of the most severe of cases. Matt Gregory verifies how it works and whether it's coming to the U.S. We put so much emphasis on the vaccine rollouts here in the United States that we tend not to emphasize so much that there are still thousands of people here in the United States who are in the hospital with COVID-19, some severe cases, and in other cases, people are still dying. And that's why there's so much hope with this drug being developed in Israel, because it could potentially save lives in the hospital. What do we know about the anti-COVID-19 drug Israel is developing? Our sources are the National Institutes of Health, Dr. William Schaffner, an infectious diseases specialist at Vanderbilt University, and Dr. Nayor Barzev, also an infectious diseases expert from Johns Hopkins University. First, our experts say you need to understand how COVID-19 makes people sick. The virus gets into the body. Our immune response starts to fight the virus and then causes a lot of collateral damage. This out of control immune response can damage organs and in more than half a million cases here in the United States, it's caused death. Enter Israel's new drug with the catchy name Exo CD24, a treatment that patients would just inhale. The, the concept here is that we're using an immune modulator mm -hmm. to dampen down uh, some of the T cells that are, uh, that are responsible for the cytokine storm that we sometimes see in severe disease. In other words, the new treatment in theory would calm down the immune system. So our own immune response does not injure our own lungs and other organ systems. So where is this drug? Researchers in Israel just completed the phase one trial with good results. They tested on moderate and severe cases, but... So I think it's too early to say anything certain about it, but it's encouraging that we have a product that potentially can reduce disease severity and that is going to be making its way through rigorous trials and evaluation. So how could this drug potentially come to the United States? Our experts say it follows the same path we saw the vaccines follow, the phase one, phase two, and phase three clinical trials. And if those prove to be successful, that data will be sent here to the FDA for review. With your Verify, I'm Matt Gregory. And folks, if you have something you want us to verify, send an email to verify at 12newsnow.com or messages on one of our social media accounts.